Holy crap, what a couple of weeks it's been. So as you guys probably know, if you're not living under a rock, you've probably heard that Springtrap is coming to DBD. Well, that's the speculation. That's what they're saying. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how all of this has just blown up out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it all started from a few YouTubers just making a trailer or something about Springtrap and making fan music. And then boom, the whole community was like, yo, we want Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> It, it was really just like that. But yeah, like all I've been seeing all over my timeline and feed every time I log on to YouTube is Springtrap, Springtrap, Springtrap. And it, it, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Now, I know a lot of streamers and a lot of other people have been saying they don't want Springtrap to be coming to Dead by Daylight. But personally, as a fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's series, I think it'd be a pretty cool addition. Now, some people think Five Nights at Freddy's might be a bit kiddie, etc. But you know what? I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's played a big part in my childhood. I mean, I was... It came out in 2014, I think. I was around... F I think I was 15 or 14. Yeah, 15 or 14. So I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's for time. So for me to see it come into, like, one of my favorite games would be insane now <laughs> there's always gonna be people that are gonna be like ah we don't want it coming to dbd we think it's too childish this and that well they could take their opinion shove it up there and nah, i'm joking i'm joking if you don't want it in dbd that's fair enough but i'm pretty sure a large part of the community want it to come to dead by daylight and th th that's fair enough there's gonna be people who do want it people who don't want it the next thing i kind of want to brush on is would spring trap actually work in dead by daylight well i mean <laughs> of course it would why why wouldn't it i mean you have this big ass scary ass robot coming towards you there are so many fan-made concepts already made of spring trap that the, the, the ideas are endless you can think of anything i feel like springtrap itself would be so big for the dead by daylight community in general because bringing a licensed killer into the game could bring so many fans that didn't even know dead by daylight was a game or just didn't even play dead by daylight now i'm pretty sure the most sold um dlc for dead by daylight was the stranger things stranger things dlc and that was obvious right i mean stranger things that's massive like <laughs> If you don't know what Stranger Things is, then you've been living under a rock. But yeah, for real, like, I remember when Stranger Things came out, even, I, like, I bought that straight away. Like, I don't usually buy the DLC straight away, because I don't know if the killer's gonna be good or the, the the survivor, so I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep, keep my money, hold on to it, until, you know, I see a few gameplays, a few reviews, and then I'll buy it. But with the Stranger Things, I was like, boom, I gotta buy this. I gotta be playing as Steve and Nancy and freaking have the Demogorgon in my collection. I mean, the peel's already there, so if Springtrap was to come to Dead by daylight it'd probably be one of the only other dlcs that i'd probably buy straight away considering it's just spring trap it's just got that allure to it you know what i mean another thing i want to brush on is i've heard concepts and ideas that Candyman could be a potential for the next dlc i personally don't want to see Candyman just as yet i'd really want to see spring trap before I see Candyman, if they do decide to go through with it. I also heard that chapter 17 and 18 are going to be licensed killers. So that should be something interesting to look forward to over these next few months. The only reason I don't want to see Candyman in Dead by Daylight as of yet is because this Springtrap hype has gotten to me. So I just want to be seeing Springtrap as of right now before I see any other killer. And the thing is the Dead by Daylight community barely goes like overboard and hyped for killers. But with this Springtrap case, the Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a rare phenomenon. Like, we barely see this much hype, and I think it's great for the community, you know? Something to look forward to, right? And we all know that licensed killers are better than unlicensed killers, obviously, because, you know, you grew up watching most of these friggin' killers, you psychos, me included. <laughs> but yeah, I just think Springtrap will bring a whole new fan base to Dead by Daylight, and <laughs> considering their matchmaking times, they are gonna need that. Obviously, until Crossplay comes along, obviously. Hopefully, that is soon. I will make a video on that if I get some news. Sometimes it takes me around 10 to 20 minutes. I'm not kidding on, on my goddamn PC to find a Dead by Daylight game. When I used to play on console on PlayStation 4, it was even worse. It even used to take me half an hour to find one game, especially when I'm obviously queuing with friends. But even when we had a four stack, it'd take ages and i meant ages to find a goddamn game it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> we're getting off topic though we're getting off topic all right okay now imagine this they release spring trap it's all confirmed everything but then out of nowhere they also release some new cosmetics for spring trap and that can mean the other cast members of five nights at freddy's how cool would that be to play as friggin chica and the, the the gang and the foxy and fucking all of them i know i'd be paying for pretty much all of those i'm just a fucking goofy ass like that i wouldn't buy any of the cosmetics for any of the other characters except steve scoops ahoy outfit but yeah that, that that is literally the only cosmetic i've ever bought and megs they're they're the only cosmetics that i've ever bought 
support like for for a character in dead by daylight and i'm pretty sure if five nights at freddy's came out i'd be buying all of them i don't give a fuck if they actually introduced the other cast members as potential skins then hell yeah i'd buy it straight away i mean how fucking sick would that be like running around as a freaking chicken or running around as a fox on the map how cool would that be honestly i'd love to see it personally i don't know about y'all but i'm feeling y'all have the same kind of opinion right now i know a lot of people are telling us not to get hyped but how can you not get hyped it's freaking five nights at freddy's this is this is what most of us grew up with for our team years for your childhood and it's coming to dead by daylight like one of my favorite games one of your favorite games because you're here on this video right now watching so <laughs> it's a great thing for the community in my opinion i know the streamers all these people having different opinions and views but the main thing is you listen to what you want to think about it's corny i know but it's fucking true right you want five nights of freddy's then you're gonna fucking be hyped who cares another thing i just want to brush on is I know this tweet's kind of old, but a lot of you may have seen this guy called Dorco's Games. I don't know who he is personally, but he's verified on Twitter, so that means probably an important figure in what he does. But yeah, he said, I have contacted Scott about Springtrap being wanted on Dead by Daylight. Hopefully one day we get to see Five Nights at Freddy's in this amazing game. Obviously this doesn't mean anything, but if he has seen the demand for it to happen, it's definitely something you should think about and DBD too. I've wanted this collab to happen for years. I remember people talking about this back in 2016. Times have changed and you can clearly see Scott is open to share the franchise with other companies now. Now, I think this is great. I mean, if what he's saying is true and Scott's open to talk about it and open to negotiate bringing potentially Five Nights at Freddy's to Dead by Daylight, then that just makes this thing a whole lot better. You know what I mean? The creator of Five Nights at Freddy's is willing to do this like he's willing to bring it it's just down to it's just down to the dbd devs and the community now to see to bring the hype to him so i think what we're doing right now is great i think we should keep pushing it we want to see <laughs> five nights at freddy's come to dead by daylight and i think this benefits both parties it benefits dbd and it benefits uh, five nights at freddy's you know they're gonna both be splitting obviously the revenue the sales etc from the dlc i mean obviously licensed killers obviously outsell the unlicensed killers that's just obvious like I'd rather buy Demogorgon over, let's say, Legion, for example, because Demogorgon's got that appeal. I, I Well, I've watched Stranger Things for years, so <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I've got that personal connection with it, with the brand itself. Now, I want to show y'all a little clip that I found on YouTube of someone who made a concept of how Springtrap would look in Dead by Daylight. I think it's very well done, considering, obviously, the guy's not a game developer, etc. But he's done a pretty good job at making it, so have a look at this, guys. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. I thought the music fit nice. I thought the, the graphics looked decent for what you could do, you know what I mean? And I think it just looked awesome. Imagine booting up Dead by Daylight and seeing that shit on your screen. Like, we thought Stranger Things was probably going to be the pinnacle for Dead by Daylight. When we all thought Stranger Things were coming out, we were all so hyped. I remember the community was crazy at that time, and it felt good. It felt good. I liked it. I liked it. I liked the hype. In these times, you got to have something to look forward to during a freaking pandemic. So I think, yeah, if it does come out, it's, it's, it's going to go crazy you're gonna see another hype like you're gonna see another hype train the first hype train since freaking stranger things to be this goddamn big but yeah that's just my thoughts my opinions on the whole situation right now and what's gonna happen with dead by daylight what's the next killer gonna be i'd be interested to know what's yours and i know this is like a different type of video from what i usually post on this channel but i i thought i should make a video on it because you know i'm a big five nights at freddy's fan i like horror games anyways i like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below i think it'd be interesting i just want to see what you guys think about this whole dead by daylight five nights at freddy situation could it be coming to dead by daylight do you guys want it do you guys not i'd want to know in the comments down below so yeah guys if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button and subscribe down below and until then guys i'll catch you guys in my next video